Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Ali Khan. Last video, two problems on computation of income from capital gain we have completed. In this video, two more problems I am going to explain you. Third and fourth problem on computing the income from capital gain. So before watching this video, I suggest my regular viewers, my genuine viewers to first of all watch the theory videos. Without understanding the theory, you cannot be able to understand the problem. So go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for the assessment year 2021-22. Uh, watch the first five videos on capital gain. Be perfect on the provisions of Income Tax Act 1961 on computing income from capital gain. Then only you come to the problem. So before starting that, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So always keep ready the problems. Take the screenshot of the solutions of third and fourth problem, then I'll explain. See the problem number three. Srimati Ganga Bhavani purchased a residential house for rupees 5 lakh in 1997-98. That means before 1-4-2001. Already I have explained you in detail in the previous videos. If an asset is purchased before 1-4-2001, the SSC can choose the higher of the following two as the cost of acquisition, actual cost or fair market value. FMB on 1-4-2001. Here, the house property was purchased for 5 lakh in 97-98 financial year. During 2003-2004, she constructed two rooms at a cost of 2 lakh 18,000. On 15th May 2020, she entered into a contract with Dr. Hari to sell the house for rupees 22 lakh 30,000 and received 75,000 as advance. Now, first of all, there is improvement also. The house was purchased in 97-98 but after, afterwards that is 2003-2004 some improvement was made to the house property adding rooms. Some more rooms are added. This is called cost of improvement. So how much is the cost of improvement? 2,18,000. Right? In which year? 2003-2004. Now on 15th May 2020 she entered into a contract with Dr. Hari to sell the house for 22 lakh 30,000 and received 75,000 as advance. Later on, Hari decided not to purchase the house and the advance received were forfeited on 12th December 2020. Now see here. Income Tax Act says if any advance is received and forfeited because the sale agreement was cancelled, the buyer with Dr. Hari was not interested in buying the house. Already he has paid to the SSC 75,000 rupees advance. Now, according to the agreement, the advance will not be refunded. The advance will be forfeited by the SSC. Income Tax Act says if the advance money is forfeited after 1 4 2014, then this advance forfeited is taxable under income from other sources. So you have to see the date when the amount is forfeited. If the amount is forfeited after 1 4 2014, then this forfeited amount is taxable under income from other sources. If it is the, if the amount is forfeited before 1 4 2014, that amount will be deducted from cost of acquisition. In our problem, the amount is forfeited after the 1st April 2014. So this amount of advance forfeited 75,000 will be taxable under income from other sources. Now later on Hari decided well, she sold the house for this 21,60,000 selling expense of 2%. Afterwards the SSC sold the house to another person for how much 21,60,000 selling expense 2%. Calculate the income from capital gain and tax liability if income under other heads are 6,30,000. The cost inflation index for 2003-2004 is 109 and 2021 is 301. See here. 
Index numbers are given to calculate indexed cost of acquisition. Our current previous year is 2021. So for 2021, index number is 301. And 2003-2004, this is the year in which improvement was made. Improvement was made. So cost of uh, indexed cost of improvement, we have to calculate. For that, 109 is the index number. And any asset purchased before 14-2001, index number will be taken as 100. That's all. Now, see carefully. Two, three new points are there in this problem. Srimati Ganga Bhavani computation of income from capital gain for the assessment here. Consideration received at what sale price he sold the property. The selling price was 21,60,000. It is given in the problem selling expenses are 2%. So 2% of 21,60,000, you get 43,200. Deduct 43,200 net consideration. 21,16,800. This is the net consideration. From this, we deduct indexed cost of acquisition and indexed cost of improvement. So, first of all, indexed cost of acquisition. What is the actual cost of the house property? 5 lakh rupees. Actually, according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, if an asset is purchased before 14 2001, the SSC can choose higher of the following two actual cost or fair market value FMV on 14 2001. But in our problem, FMV on 14 2001 is not given. So, whatever is the actual cost, that actual cost we have taken. So, 5 lakh rupees actual cost into current year index is 301. That you have to remember whether it is given in the problem or not given. You have to remember our current previous year index number is 301. So 301 divided by 100 because the asset is purchased before 14-2001 so we have taken 100. So 5 lakh into 301 by 100 you get 15 lakh 5000. This is called indexed cost of acquisition. Now indexed cost of improvement. During the year 2003-2004 some two rooms are added to the building. This is called improvement. The cost incurred on improvement is 2,18,000 given in the problem. Current year index is 301 and the index number for 2003-2004 is 109. It is given in the problem. So 301 divided by 109, 6,2,000. Add up 21,7,000. Now deduct 21,16,800 minus 21,7,000, 9,800 is the long term capital gain. Why it is long term capital gain? Because it was purchased very early that is 1997-98 and sold during the current year. For land and building the period is 2 years. If the asset is held for more than 2 years and sold it is a long term capital gain. Right? Now we are required to calculate the tax liability also. The computation of tax liability. The income under other heads are 6,30,000 given in the problem. In the problem, income under other heads, 6,30,000. Now, advance money forfeited. This SSC has made an agreement with Dr. Hari to sell the house. And she has taken advance money 75,000. Now, this advance money is received and forfeited after 1-4-2014. So, it is taxable under income from other sources. So, advance money forfeited on sale agreement, certified. Total income is 7,5,000. This is called normal income. Remember, the long term capital gain is a special income on which there is a flat rate of tax 20%. So tax rate is flat 20% on 9,800. Whereas other income is the normal income on which slab system will apply. So what is the slab system? Here. Tax on normal income. Slab, income, rate, tax. First slab up to 2,50,000. Up to 2,50,000 exempted, no tax at all. Basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. So up to 2,50,000, income 2,50,000, tax rate nil, tax amount nil. The next slab goes from 2,50,001 to 5 lakh rupees. From 2,50,001 to 5 lakh, the income comes to 2,50,000, on which the tax rate is 5%. So 2,50,000, 5%, 12,500. Now, 
the third slab goes from 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh rupees but is our income going up to 10 lakh no our income is only 7 lakh 5000 so take the balance 7 lakh 5000 minus 2 lakh 50000 minus 2 lakh 50000 the remaining balance 2 lakh 5000 so 2 lakh 5000 20 percent is the rate of tax so 2 lakh 5000 20 percent 41000 take the total 53500 what is this 53500 tax on normal income this is the tax on normal income to this we add tax on ltcg how much is the ltcg 9800 the rate of tax is 20% so 20% of 9800 1960 add up both 55460 to this as usual health and education says 4% so 4% of 55460 you will get 2218 now add up 2218 57678 now we round it off to the next 10 so 78 is there the higher next 10 is 80 so we will take 57,680 that's all this is the complete solution this is the computation of LTCG and this is the computation of tax liability now in working note you have to write down the points which are new in this problem first point the advance money forfeited on the sale of house is received after 1-4-2014 this date you have to remember the advance money received and forfeited after 1-4-2014 so it is taxable under income from other sources here it is taxable it will not be taxable under capital gain it is taxable under other sources the house was purchased before 1-4-2001 but the FMB is not given in the problem so we have taken the actual cost of 5 lakh the index number should be taken as 100 for any asset purchased before 1-4-2001 all these are the provisions I have explained in the theory video so any asset purchase before 1-4-2001, the index number should be taken as 100. Next is the rebate under section 87A is not allowed as the total income is more than 5 lakh. The tax rebate under section uh, 87A will be allowed only if the total income is below 5 lakh. Previous video, when we have done second problem, I explain you. We have calculated, we have deducted tax rebate. But here we are not deducting tax rebate because the total income is more than 5 lakh. More than 5 lakh. So that's why no tax rebate is allowed. For LTCG tax rate is 20%. For normal income slab system. This is LTCG. On this there is a flat rate 20%. This is the normal income. On normal income we apply slab system. That's it. This is the end of problem number 3. Now. Fourth problem, Sri Jay Prakash purchased a sculpture on 25th June 2000 for rupees 2,50,000 and is sold for rupees 11 lakh during the previous year. Selling expenses 10,800. Calculate capital gain in the following situations. Following situations. First one, if it is sold to Mr. Ravi Teja of Haryana State. Secondly, if it is sold to Jawaharlal Nehru. If it is sold to Jawaharlal Nehru uh, University, Delhi. So here, the asset is purchased before 1-4-2001. Before 1-4-2001. So index number of purchase here will be taken as 100. One point. Sculpture, painting, drawings, etc. These are intangible assets. And these are, uh, I mean, these are taxable asset, capital asset. According to the new provisions of the Income Tax Act, drawings, paintings of any or any artwork or sculpture, all these will come under capital asset. And any gain arising on transfer of sculpture, painting, drawing or any artwork, that is taxable. That capital gain is taxable. Here it is a long term because he has purchased in 2000 and sold during the current previous year 2021 it's a long term capital gain right and one point is there if it is sold if the sculpture painting drawing are sold to a university then it is not taxable the it is it will not be trans it will not be considered as a 
ट्रांसफर तो टू डिफरेंट सिचुएशन आर देर फर्स्ट वन से जयप्रकाश कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ इनकम फ्रॉम कैपिटल गेन फॉर दसमेंट स्कल्पर इज ए कैपिटल सेट सो एनी गेन अराइजिंग ऑन इट सेल इज अ टैक्सेबल कैपिटल गेन फर्स्ट पॉइंट ना सिचुएशन वन इफ इट इज सोल्ड टू मिस्टर रवि तेजा ऑफ हरियाणा स्टेट द एस एस सी हेज सोल्ड द स्कल्पर टू ए पर्सन देन गेन अराइजिंग इज ए टैक्सेबल कैपिटल गेन नाउ consideration received 11 lakh the sculpture was sold for 11 lakh let's transfer expenses selling expense 10800 deduct 10 lakh 89200 is a net consideration from this deduct indexed cost of acquisition the asset is purchased before 14 2001 but the fair market value fmb is not given so we take the actual cost the actual cost was 2 lakh 50000 into current year premium current year index number Current previous year index number is three not one. I told you, in this problem it is not given in the problem. We must remember. In theory, I have explained you about this indexed cost of acquisition. So current previous year index is three not one, and purchase year index number is hundred. So two lakh fifty thousand into three not one by hundred seven lakh fifty two five. Deduct long term capital gain three lakh thirty six thousand seven hundred. So we got the LTCG. first situation completed now second situation if the sculpture is sold to jawaharlal nehru university so painting drawing sculpture etc are treated as capital asset but sale to government or university or national museum remember if the sculpture painting drawings are sold to government to university or to national museum if these items are sold to government or museum or university then it will not be treated as a transfer is not considered as transfer hence profit on sale shall not be considered as capital gain so any gain arising will not be considered as capital gain it is not taxable if it is sold to government or university or national museum that's it so in this video two problems i have explained that is third and fourth inshallah fifth problem we'll do it in the next video